Hey, it's Jesse. How's everybody going? Just kidding. This is stupid. No, okay. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? It's Jesse. Um, so today, right now, I'm about to cook dinner, and I'm gonna give y'all a quick and simple meal that is a staple in our home. We love it. It's so so simple, and it's actually. It's very delicious and the kids love it too. Um, so what it is, it's cabbage and kielbasa sausage. See, super simple, but I'm gonna show you how I make it. All right, so essentially it's three ingredients. You've got cabbage, some kielbasa sausage, and good old apple cider vinegar. All right, so you're gonna start out by cutting up your cabbage. All right, so what I like to do is when I cut them up, I like to kind of get it as small as possible, um, but not, I don't know, almost, let me show you. So where it's like this, it's almost like noodles. That way, whenever you're eating it, it's a lot easier to, to get up. All right, once you get done cutting up your, your cabbage, you're gonna put it into a, a decent size pot. All right, so after you put it in the pot, you're gonna fill it with water. Um, I don't fill it all the way because it is going to cook down and I don't want too much, um, too much liquid because it makes it hard once you get close to the end to get your the, the sausages out because they're all floating around and then if you want to store it, just a little too much too much liquid so fill it almost to the top so the water water lines about right there so you still see cabbage is still on top a good bit then you just want to add a quick little splash of your apple cider vinegar that way it gives a <clears throat> just a little bit more flavor um, another way we have done it and I'm, I'm out of broth right now is I've used chicken broth in it um, so just not as much water and add the chicken broth so it gives it a little more flavor I'm gonna do this a little different with the, the sausages I'm actually going to cut them up and put them in a skillet and kind of saute them and bring a little bit more of the fat uh, heat them up a little bit better and bring a little bit more of the fat out um, that way when I transfer it all to the pan <clears throat> it has and it's adding that flavor to it um, it is fully cooked, so we have cut them up before and just put them and let the whole thing steep or boil and steep together. And um, we used to do that with spicy sausages, but the kids wouldn't eat it because it was it was spicy. So we do I do it this way. That way it gives it more flavor, and everybody seems to enjoy it. I'm just kidding. All right, so you can see I cut them up into small little pieces. All right, as you can see, they're cooking down real nice, getting nice, nice and juicy. The fat's coming out of them. That's gonna, it's gonna do some, have some good flavor to that cabbage. The cabbage is starting to come to a boil. Once I add the sausage, it's not gonna take too much longer before it's ready. All right, so I added the sausages. Um, I turned the heat down um, to cut it down low. So now, and I put the top on. So now it'll just sit there and cook. Probably for another 30 minutes or so, and the cabbage should be done. And then it'll be time to eat. And I'll show you what it looks like. All right, it's been boiling and 
doing his thing for about 30, a little over 30 minutes now. All right, so that's what we got. It's, it's pretty much finished now. I know this is a little bit different video um, and the recipe is pretty simple and quick um, other than the fact that it takes a little while for it to boil down but it's what we it's it's a meal that we like to use in our household um, there's some might be someone out there that hasn't thought of it that would like to try it by all means do it it's delicious and I don't think you'll be disappointed so thanks for sticking with us We'll see you in the next one.